Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last video, we have discussed the questions on page 69. Today, let us discuss the next section equal codes. Let us draw a circle and its diameter. When we join any two points on a circle, we get a code. These two are also points on the circle. Therefore, this is also a code. Diameters are codes through the center of the circle and they are the longest codes. As the codes move away from the center, their lengths decrease. Now look at the lengths of the codes. They are of equal length. These codes are at the same distance from the center. So we can say codes at the same distance from the center are of the same length. Here the codes are moved by sliding. Now let us rotate the codes. Here also you can see as the codes move away from the center, their lengths decrease. These two codes are of the same length and you can see that they are at equal distance from the center. Now the codes can be rotated like this also. Now you can see as the codes move away from the center, their lengths decrease. Now these two codes are of the same length. You can see they are at equal distance from the center. So we have seen that the codes at the same distance from the center are of the same length whatever way they are moved by sliding or by rotating. Let us prove it now. Prove that codes at the same distance from the center are of the same length. Let us draw a circle. Let the center be O. Now draw two codes at equal distance from the center. Let the codes be AB and CD. Given that the distance from the center to these codes are equal. Distance from center to the codes means the perpendicular distance. So let us draw perpendiculars from O to AB and CD. Let them meet at P and Q. Since the distance from the center to the codes are equal, OP and OQ are equal. Now join OA and OC. Now look at these two triangles. OP and OQ are perpendiculars to the codes. Therefore, these two are right angle triangles. And since the distance from the center to the codes are equal, OP equal to OQ. OA and OC are radii of the circle. Therefore, they are also equal. That means, in these two right angle triangles, the hypotenuse are equal and one more side, say altitude, are also equal. Then definitely the third sides or the bases are equal because in every right angle triangle, base is equal to root of hypotenuse square minus altitude square. If hypotenuse and altitudes are equal, then root of hypotenuse square minus altitude square or basis are equal. Therefore, we can say AP equal to CQ. Now, we know the perpendicular from center to a code bisect the code. Therefore, AP is half AB. Similarly, CQ is half CD. AP equal to CQ means half AB equal to half CD. When the halves are equal, AB and CD are also equal. That means, codes at the same distance from the center are of the same length. Now let us do the problems on page 72. First problem, prove that codes of the same length in a circle are at the same distance from the center. Let us draw a circle. Let the center be O. Let us draw two codes of the same length. Let them be A, B and C, D. We have to prove that 
the distance from the center to these codes are equal. Let us draw perpendiculars from the center to the codes. Let them meet the codes at P and Q respectively. Then OP and OQ are the distance from the center to the codes. We have to prove that OP equal to OQ. Let us join OA and OC. Since OP and OQ are perpendicular to the codes, angle P and angle Q are right angles. Therefore, these two triangles are right angle triangles. Given that these two codes are of the same length, that is AB equal to CD. AP is half AB and CQ is half CD. Since AB and CD are equal, half AB and half CD are also equal. That means AP equal to CQ. OA and OC are radii of the circle. Therefore, they are also equal. That means in these two right angle triangles, hypotenuse are equal and bases are also equal. Therefore, altitudes are also equal because altitude equal to root of hypotenuse square minus base square. Therefore, we can say OP equal to OQ or the distance from the center to the equal codes are also equal. Second problem, two codes intersect at a point on a circle and the diameter through this point bisects the angle between the codes. Prove that the codes have the same length. Let us draw a circle. Let the center be O. Let two codes intersect at a point. Let the point be A and let the codes be A, B and A, C. Now let us draw the diameter through this point. Given that the diameter bisect this angle, that means these two angles are equal. Now let us draw the perpendicular from the center to the codes. Let them meet the codes at P and Q respectively. Since OP and OQ are perpendiculars, angle P and angle Q are right angles. Now let us consider these two triangles, triangle OAP and triangle OAQ. OA is the common side for both the triangles. Given that these two angles are equal, that is angle OAP equal to angle OAQ. These two angles are right angles, means they are also equal. Therefore, the third angles are also equal. That is angle AOP equal to angle AOQ. That means one side and angles at the end of this triangle are equal to one side and angles at the end of the second triangle. Therefore, these two triangles are equal. That is triangle OAP and triangle OAQ are equal. When two triangles are equal, the sides opposite to equal angles are equal. These two angles are equal. Therefore, the sides opposite to them are also equal. That is AP and AQ are equal. We know AP is half AB and AQ is half AC. Since AP equal to AQ, AB and AC are also equal. That means the codes have same length. Third problem. In the picture on the right, the angles between the radii and the codes are equal. Prove that the codes are of the same length. Let us take the figure. Let us give a name for the codes. Let it be A, B and C, D. Let the center be O. Given that the angles between the radii and the codes are equal. That means these two angles are equal. Now let us draw perpendiculars from the center to the codes. Let them meet the codes at P and Q respectively. Now consider these two triangles, triangle PCO and triangle QAO. Given that these two angles are equal, that is angle C equal to angle A. Since OP and OQ are perpendicular to the codes, angle P and angle Q are also equal. That means two angles of this triangle are equal to two angles of this triangle. Therefore, the third angles are also equal. That is angle COP equal to angle AOQ. OA and OC are radii of the circle. Therefore, they are also equal. That means one side and two angles at the end of this triangle are equal to one side and angles at the end of this triangle. 
therefore these two triangles are equal that is triangle PCO and triangle QAO are equal. When two triangles are equal, the sides opposite to equal angles are equal. These two are equal angles, therefore side opposite to them are also equal, that is CP equal to AQ. The perpendicular from the center to the code bisect the code, therefore CP and PD are equal or CP is half CD. The same way AQ is half AB. Since CP equal to AQ, AB equal to CD or the codes are of the same length. Another problem. In the picture, two equal codes extended to meet a point outside the circle. Prove that the diameter extended through this point bisect the angle between the codes extended. Here these are two equal codes and they are extended to meet a point outside the circle. Let us draw the diagonal and extend it through this point. We have to prove that this line bisect this angle or these two angles are equal. Let the center of the circle be O. Let the equal codes be A, B and C, D. Let them intersect at a point P outside the circle. Let us draw perpendiculars from the center to the codes. Let them meet at Q and R respectively. Now consider the triangle POQ and POR. OQ and OR perpendiculars drawn to the codes. Therefore, angle Q and angle R are 90 degree. That means triangle POQ and triangle POR are right angle triangles. And which is their hypotenuse? The hypotenuse of this triangle is OP and the hypotenuse of this triangle is also OP. That means OP is the hypotenuse of both the triangles. Now given that these two are equal codes, that means AB equal to CD. And we know if two codes in a circle are equal, the distance from center to these codes are also equal. That means OQ and OR are equal. Therefore, the hypotenuse and base of this right angle triangle are equal to the hypotenuse and base of this right angle triangle. Therefore, their altitudes are also equal because altitude is equal to root of hypotenuse square minus base square. And if hypotenuse and base are equal, root of hypotenuse square minus base square or altitude are also equal. That means PQ equal to PR. So we can see that the three sides of this triangle are equal to the three sides of this triangle. That means these two triangles are equal or triangle POQ and triangle PO are equal triangles. When two triangles are equal, the angles opposite to equal sides are equal. These two sides are equal. Therefore, angles opposite to them are also equal. That means these two angles are equal. Therefore, we can say this line or the line got by extending the diameter through this point bisect this angle or angle between the codes extended. Today, we have discussed the section equal codes and we have done some problems. In the next video, we shall discuss the next section length of codes. Till then, bye.